Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here with a final round of benchmarks looking at the recent base clock overclocking for Intel Skylake chips. Well, regular viewers of our YouTube channel will know that when we tested the Core i3-6100, we found that performance scaled in line with faster memory. We saw some big increases in frame rate by moving from base 2133 MHz RAM up to faster 2666 MHz modules. So, after I recently overclocked the Core i5-6500 to 4.51 GHz, I wondered whether we could get further performance from the overclock by using even faster RAM. To that end, I bought in some 3000 MHz Core Corsair Vengeance LPX sticks. Pretty good memory here, easily overclockable to 3200 MHz with only a slight voltage tweak. So what you're seeing here are six different benchmark runs. We've run the stock 3.2 GHz i5 at four different RAM speeds. Then we've overclocked the processor to 4.51 GHz and run the sticks at 2632 MHz and 3196 MHz, the closest we could get to stock equivalents. You'll note that at stock speeds we've had to run the sticks at 3066 MHz. That's because running at the rated 3000 actually seems to slightly overclock the CPU itself and we didn't want that. Pushing up to 3066 kept the CPU at stock speeds and didn't require any extra voltage. Results are interesting. Generally speaking, when we're not limited by the GPU, we do get faster performance on our stock processor the higher we ramp up memory bandwidth. 2133 MHz really does show a pronounced drop to performance in places, but generally speaking, the faster we push RAM, the more performance we get though diminishing returns do kick in around the 3000 MHz area. Now, what's interesting is that some games respond to memory overclocking better than they do to a CPU overclock. Running DDR4 on a stock chip at 3066 MHz gives us higher performance than overclocking the CPU with lower memory bandwidth. However, titles like Crisis 3 only really show scalability with CPU overclocking. Faster RAM makes very little difference there in our benchmarking sequence. Basically, if you're going to overclock your non-K i5, our recommendation is to pair it with faster memory to ensure that performance scales as much as it can. And of course, remember that you are going to need a Z170 board to overclock anything. Anyway, we've covered 8 games here. If you want to skip ahead to the title of your choice, just look at the video description where you'll see hot link time codes to every game in this sequence. But that's all we've got right now. Please remember that you can support what we do with nothing more than a like or a press of the subscribe button. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. No targets are reachable. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell was Ducheneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? Oui, monsieur. Good. Tell Sivert. I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? He sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best, assassin. Probably not. On your right! Shoot! Them! Fucking hell! Watch out!
cycle. The strain is full of highly explosive material. Yep. Your plan? Yeah. Come on, you bastards. Oh, no! 